hello 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 and welcome back to my youtube channel it is about your favorite alchemist the alchemy goddess thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning thank you for coming back you are greatly appreciated this is your daily love reading for my singles um uh don't forget it is wednesday it is wednesday right oh wait that doesn't tell me the date Yes, it is Wednesday, December the 29th, 2021. The energy in the hemisphere is Mercury. So it's a great day for communication. It's a great day to talk. It's a great day to say what you need to say. Um, it's also a great day to do some research, study things that you may want to know more about, um, expand your knowledge, you know what I'm saying? So great energy for the collective to do so today. But also we are having a shift. We are quantum shifting, literally, collectively we are um and i keep talking about venus and retrograde because you're gonna see you know things that in the past that didn't work out could work out for you now like things that you couldn't fix whether it be love money like things that you just didn't you didn't get or it didn't come your way like applying for jobs or applying for apartments or applying for loans or anything of that nature you'll see that those things are coming back around and you may be you know qualified this time you know you may get approved this time um you can see exes coming back and things like that, things that didn't work out in the past. But it's more important to understand that things are coming back to show you the truth, to show you what really is going on. Like, you are going to see people. You're going to see yourself for who and what you really are. Like, it's in the hemisphere, y'all. So let's get a message out there for the singles today in love. Spirit, what message do you have for my singles today when it comes to love? Please show us what it is we need to do show us only what we need to see and the truth and only the truth please provide clear and precise messages for me to relay them accurately to those who are in need all right y'all let's see what messages we have for the collective today with love Following the deck is the Ace of Cups reverse. We got that in the, in the tea today. Crazy, right? Ace of Cups is an energy of new beginnings in love, but it's in reverse. So something is delaying a new love into your life. Something is putting it on hold or something is stopping it from coming in. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for my singles today? Okay, we have the High Priestess in reverse. You're not trusting your intuition. Mm. Seven of Wands, put your guard down. Okay. Okay, spirit, three of swords, reverse. We got that in the T, y'all. It's crazy how some of these messages just come back out again. And I'm not pulling them out. They're coming out on their own. So we just going to keep it at that end of page of cups. Look at that again. Bottom of the deck. Okay, so nothing going on right now, right? No kind of change taking place. Things are moving kind of slow. I feel that with the eight of wands reverse, things moving kind of slow right now. Nothing coming too quickly at you, or maybe someone is moving kind of slow, whatever, right? Um, bottom of the deck, we have the knight of wands. I'm sorry, the knight of swords. And then we have the 10 of cups. And then we have the knight of wands. And then we have the, the king of cups reverse, the queen of cups reverse, and we have the sun card reverse. Hmm. Someone moved too quickly in the situation. And I feel like something is being hidden. Someone is emotionally unstable. Queen and the King of Cups, those are counterparts. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We also have Leo, Sag, Aries energy with the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, with the Knight of Wands. And we have um, Libra, Gem Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Knight of Swords. I'm just getting this strong cup energy where there's a lot of feelings here. Someone is like genuinely happy, but I feel like they 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 don't think before they move. And I feel like they rushed in. Like some like they rushed in and their emotions are all all are all over the place. Emotionally unstable, feeling kind of being insensitive. And I feel like this is all an illusion. Because the truth is the Ten of Cups, the happiness, the joy, the contentment. I feel like there's some kind of news, like, or there was some kind of action taken. And whatever that action was, man, it caused, like, someone to feel very emotional and, like, kind of, like, 
I don't know, y'all. It kind of feels like with the king and the queen of cups, like, I don't know. I get this sense of, of someone being very insensitive. And I feel like also not someone's not trusting their intuition. Because I also feel that with the high priestess reverse. And something f feels like with the sun card here, we also have Leo energy with the sun card. But I feel like with it being reversed, that it's like someone's not showing you. Like there's like, they're not happy. They're not showing you they're not happy. They're just acting really insensitive. And, and the reality is they're emotional. They're an emotional wreck. I feel like someone wants to rush towards you, though. I feel like someone wants to rush towards you because they are an emotional wreck. Because they do have these deep feelings for you. But I feel like they've been very insensitive. Yeah, someone's about to rush in. I'm telling you, someone wants to rush towards you. They're not really thinking either. They're just going towards that Ten of Cups. I want to be happy. Ten of Cups. You are my happily ever after. Love. Look at that. Tattoo of love on their fingers. Like, you are my happiness. Wow. All right. So, on the table, we have the High Priestess reversed, the Seven of Wands reversed, the Three of Swords reversed, the Three of Wands, and the Page of Cups reversed. Spirit, please clarify these energies on the table for us. Please show us what it is we need to see and only what we need to see. Please show us the truth and only the truth. Please provide clear and precise messages so I can relay them accurately to those who are in need and those who are watching. Please and thank you. I'm kind of getting this feeling that someone's having a difficult time letting go of some kind of pain, some kind of heartbreak, some kind of loss, putting their guard down or they're about to put their guard down. Looking forward to the future, maybe leaving something behind, waiting for something to come in, waiting for something to change, waiting for change to happen. Let's keep, let's go though, all right? Let's see before we call it, okay? Also feel like an apology may be coming. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords reversed. Again, look at that, Three of Swords, Three of Swords, y'all. Someone is trying to let go of something that hurts so bad. And I feel like so that new love can come in. Yeah, because somebody wants to rush in towards you. I feel like you maybe. Yeah, let's keep going. Spirit, please clarify the high priestess reverse. This is Pisces energy. Please clarify the high priestess reverse. We have the fool. We have the seven of swords reverse. We have the eight of pentacles reverse. The ace of pentacles reverse. Oh, too many cards. If it's not one or two, I'm not taking three. And the King of Cups again reversed. And the Sun card again reversed. I'll be damned. You are you have to trust your intuition, baby. Because your intuition is trying to tell you something. I don't know what it's trying to tell you, but it's trying to tell you something. There's something being hidden. Somebody wants a new beginning. Someone wants a fresh start. The Fool, the Ace of Pentacles. Someone feels like they're taking a risk. Someone may be ready to take a risk and kind of like let you know what's going on or ready to reveal to you what they've been keeping from you. Yeah, the sun card reverse, the seven of swords reverse. Somebody got something they need to share with you. And the high priestess reverse. Yeah. Some kind of secret, some huge secret is coming out, y'all. And it's whatever it is, someone is, is very like... I want to say they're reckless. But I feel like with the king of cups... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy again. But I feel like with the King of Cups, this person knows that something has to change or they're going through some kind of change and they're emotionally unstable. Yeah, they're, but you're about to get some kind of truth and it's huge. And it's in regards to, way, to the way someone feels about you, the truth about how they feel about you, 
something they couldn't tell you before. Spirit, please clarify the Seven of Wands. What is this Seven of Wands reverse? Page of Cups again in reverse. Somebody wants to apologize to you. Somebody has an apology. High Priestess, wow. And you felt it, you knew. Two of Pentacles reverse. They were juggling or, hold on, Nine of Wands reverse. Spirit, clarify the Seven of Wands reverse. The moon, Pisces energy again, ace of wands reverse. The fire, the fire, <laughs> the fire, fire. That's what the smoke alarm sounds like. So someone is definitely putting their guard down, no longer wanting to fight. I feel like no longer wanting to fight for something. I feel like there's an apology coming. I feel like someone has more information that they need to tell you. Something that they've been holding back from you. And that's where the apology is coming from. They're tired of juggling. They're tired of doing too much. They're tired of trying to figure it out. I feel like this person is giving up on something though. I don't know what they're giving up on. But they're giving up with the nine of wands. They don't want to fight no more. They are wounded. They are hurt. They don't want to go through the trials. The tribulations no more. Everything is not what it seems y'all. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. I just read the cards. Everything is not what it seems. That is definite here. And that's probably the title of this reading. Everything is not what it seems. High Priestess reverse. Seven of Swords reverse. The Moon card. Again with the High Priestess. Like, if something is not what it seems. And I feel like someone owes you an apology. And they're ready to apologize to you. Because they don't want to go through whatever it is they're going through. Whatever they've been putting themselves through. Whether it be you or someone else. Or just them and themselves. It don't matter. They're tired of going through it. Spirit clarify. This Three of Swords reverse energy. What's the Three of Swords reverse energy? The Justice card and the Four of Pentacles. The Tower reverse. The Three of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles reverse, Hangman reverse, crazy. Very similar cards to the T today, y'all. So I feel like <sighs> this person's having a real hard time getting on the same page with someone. Maybe you, someone else, maybe, you know, they're themselves. They have a real difficult time getting on the same page here. And with the three of swords here in reverse, they have to let go of this. Like, it may be time to let go. Justice, making it right. Libra energy, making it right. M like, balancing out the situation, making sure it's fair and just. Definitely holding on tightly. To something that they, they're not telling you. I feel like. I feel like. In order for them to move forward. And to build something with you. They have to let go of something that may have happened in the past. Between the two of you or another situation. But I feel like with the justice card. It will be balanced. It will be fixed. But they're holding on. They're not letting go of you. I feel like. They're ready to rebuild with you with the tower here in reverse because it was something that they were battling inside that made this fall apart. But they want to rebuild definitely with the tower card in reverse next to that three of pentacles. They want to rebuild. They want to collaborate. They want to work with you. They want to build with you. But I feel like with the page of pentacles here in reverse, it's they're procrastinating. They're not giving in to the idea because they still have to let go of something or someone or whatever from the past here that has caused some kind of hurt. Spirit, clarify this Three of Wands energy. Threes is real popular today, I see. Six of Pentacles and a Three of Wands. Look at that. Divinity. This is a divine energy here, y'all. I keep getting threes. The Empress. Libra Taurus energy. Spirit, clarify this Three of Wands energy. The Four of Wands reverse. And the four of swords, bottom of the deck, seven of cups reverse. No more options, no more confusion. This person is waiting for something to happen, though. It's like this person was waiting for, for them to give back whatever they was given to someone else or to someone.
Your person has been waiting for this feminine energy. They've been waiting for you or they've been waiting for something. Somebody needs a break. They've been waiting to get a break. Like, I feel like I just heard I can't catch a break. Like, I... wow. Someone is waiting for something to recover. Oh, wow. You have grown a lot. Someone has grown a lot. Whoever this feminine is. Whoever this feminine is, you have grown so much. You are growth. You are fertility. You are abundance. And I feel like they were waiting for you to see that. Waiting to see how important you are or how special you are. Because this four of wands reverse, I'm like... There's no commitment. There's no foundation. It's almost as if this person was waiting for you to grow so that you can create a foundation. But I feel like there's still like this period of healing. There's still time. There still needs to be healing. Somebody's trying to recover from something else. But they're no longer confused. There's no more there. Like, there's no other option for them. I feel like they're waiting for you to see that. Oh, wow. Because they hurt you in the past. I'll be damned. They hurt you in the past. And they're waiting for you to see. They're waiting for you to recover from whatever the fuck happened in the past. That's what they're waiting for. Because they couldn't give you what you gave them. And this person wants to rush in. They want to come back in and tell you, listen, I'm an emotional fucking wreck without you, baby. I am not happy without you. Wow, there's nobody else for me. Spirit, clarify the Page of Cups reverse energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo Cap Taurus energy. Spirit, clarify the Queen of Pentacles energy. The King of Wands energy. Aries, Aries um, Leo Sag. We have the Hangman reverse. We have the Page of Wands. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Ooh, somebody is ready to move forward. Chariot, forward movement. They know that this is going to work. Like, they know this will work. They know whatever this is with you is going to work. And they have to apologize to you, though. They have to apologize to you. They're ready to offer some to, to make you feel very secure. They have a vision. Their vision. This person is a leader. Okay? They're sure, and they're, they're sure of who they want. And I feel like with the hangman reverse, they weren't for so long. You weren't on the same page. This person is trying to seek independence right now so that they can move forward. Page of Wands. They're excited. They're curious. But they owe you an apology. Because they weren't there emotionally. A lot of pages on the table too. A lot of immature energy. Like a lot of this connection needs to grow a lot. A lot of it. Like, they, they're ready to nurture this connection. They are. Look at that Queen of Pentacles. They're ready to nurture it. They want to nurture you. They know, what you. they know what they want. They want you. The attraction is very strong. They're so curious about it. But they're still trying to get their independence. Six of Swords, Strength card reversed, Two of Swords, Ten of Cups reversed, Judgment card, and the Magician reversed. Both the Judgment and the, magi and the Magician are reversed. So we have Leo energy. We have Aries energy. Things are going to calm down. The storm is starting to clear. And this person is no longer afraid. They made their choice. They are not happy. They are not happy. But they just don't know how to do it. They don't know how to make the change. They don't know how to manifest this. They don't know how to do it. But they want. They know that with you, they can have it. They know that with you, they can have everything that they want. They know this. Wow, let's go into the um, destined oracle deck. Spirit, please clarify or confirm for us what is destined to happen for my singles with love. <clears throat> Spirit, what is destined to happen for my singles when it comes to love? 
to do, what is destined to happen for my singles when it comes to love. Please provide us with clarity. Please show us what we need to see and only the truth, Spirit. Only what we need to see and only the truth. And we thank you. All right. Bottom of the deck is perseverance. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No matter what happens with this connection, Spirit is telling you to persevere. You will get through this. Even though it might be muddy. All right, Spirit, what is destined to happen? Please confirm what's destined to happen with the High Priestess Reverse. What is destined to happen with the High Priestess Reverse? Inner demons. Mm, told you, somebody's an emotional wreck. They're fighting them inner demons. They've been fighting these demons for a minute about you. Rebirth. Come on with it, Spirit. Woo, chill. Defenses. Told you, their guard was really high. Their guard was really high. They've been really defensive. Their guard was really high about you imprisonment going crazy driving themselves crazy feeling stuck scarcity not knowing how to give to you they couldn't give to you they couldn't give you what you gave them but they're going through a rebirth right now bottom of the deck wisdom they have learned they have embraced their feminine energy that's what they've done they're embraced their feminine energy inner demons rebirthing themselves defenses realizing like this is all that they have been keeping from you that's the high priestess reverse that's what that's about right this is what the secret is this is the information you did not know. This person has been in, 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 in a mental prison. Wow. All right, let's keep going. Spirit, what's destined to happen with the Seven of Wands reverse? What is destined to happen? Secrets. Self-sabotage. Come on now with this spirit. This person. Mm, mm, mm. Your person, your person, your person materialist if it ain't about the money <laughs> distress signal they were so concerned about the material things reliable bottom of the deck wish fulfillment oh man this person's putting their guard down for you because they tired of fighting they tired of going through it they sabotaging themselves they got a lot of secrets to tell you a lot of secrets to tell you See, this is what I'm saying here. Materialist and reliable in the same place? Wish fulfillment. You are this person's wish fulfillment, though. You are. They owe you an apology. They were so worried about the material world and how everybody saw them. And now they're going through a distress signal. Realizing how reliable you are. You always come through in a clutch. Spirit, what's destined to happen with this three of swords reverse energy? Longing. Inspiration. Soul recognition. Come on, spirit. Complications. And hope. Bottom of the deck is anxiety. Who? This person definitely want you to let go of the past or they want to let go of the past because they see you you are their inspiration but things have been so complicated but they're still very hopeful for this connection but at the same time they got anxiety because they don't know what's going to happen they're longing for you you're such an inspiration to this person and they see you they see your soul yeah let's keep going spirit what's destined to happen with this Three of Wands energy, what is destined to happen with this Three of Wands energy? Boundaries. You have walls up. You got walls up and they want you to see reconciliation. Told you they want to reconcile. This person's coming back, charging into your life. They're coming back. They want to reconcile with you. Fragile. But they know that you are very fragile. Told you, you have boundaries up. You are very fragile. Awakening. An enemy. Fixation. So this person, I feel like, is having an awakening and they were waiting for you to see something. This person waiting for you to see that no one else is for them. Whoever the hell else that you thought was for them ain't for them. It's the enemy. They're dealing with the enemy. And you have boundaries up. You have walls up. And they want to reconcile with you. They know that you are, like, you are very fragile right now. But they have had an awakening about who the enemy truly is. And the fixation part, I feel like they realized that someone was very fixated with them. 
or fixated with a situation and i feel like maybe even you you know it depends take it as it resonates but the fixation part like whoever was fixated with this situation they're looking at this situation like don't be so consumed with that with this with the situation itself recover from what we went through so we can move forward i don't know what they did to you but whatever they did to you they want you to recover from it because they realize who the true enemy was Spirit, what is destined to happen with this page of cups reverse what is destined to happen with this page of cups reverse energy over and overly analytical yeah they've been thinking a lot about coming towards you they have about how to apologize to you wisdom see pretend they're not happy they've been pretending like it but they're not some good messages today inner voice told you they're literally going through it with themselves trying to figure out how to how to approach you ego and that's what keeps getting in their fucking way the ego they keep making it about them instead of making it about y'all pretending like they're happy and they're not over analyzing the entire situation bottom of the deck resilience keep going like just like perseverance just like perseverance they see you as, as such. They see you as being very resilient. All right, let's get some chakra energy out here. Spirit, what chakra messages do you have for the collective? What chakras should they be working on or should they be focused on in healing when it comes to their higher self, love, all of that good stuff, right? Insecurity. I'm telling you, whatever happened in this situation, don't let it make you insecure. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. Spirit, what chakra messages do we have for the collective? Balance, perfection, acceptance. We get that card a lot. Gratitude, be grateful, be grateful. Ooh, and recovery. Bomb of the deck, tricky, trickery. Heart chakra. You feel like somebody tricked you. You feel like this person tricked you. You feel like you were manipulated, okay? You feel that way. Now, that is a heart chakra energy, but we also have third eye energy, root energy, and that's it. Third eye, root, and heart. So I feel like you need to be like more like, you need to shift your perspective on this situation and focus on, when it comes to your third eye, focus on balance. Focus on what is right, what is just. Remember, we live in a reality. We live in a 3D world. So if you shift your perception, maybe you'll see this person or this situation differently, okay? Look at the balance of the reality of it. Perfection. You, I feel like you've doubted yourself, you know? You've doubted yourself because of the way this person has reacted to you. The fact that this person has, you know showing you only what they wanted you to see and i feel like you need to get more grounded when it comes to that sense like you are perfect in who you are you are perfection in your own imperfections and acceptance accept what has happened in the past and let it go everything doesn't always work out and i say accept what happened in the past because look what's behind her in the picture accept what has happened in the past let the ghost go because your person is still very hopeful about this connection and be grateful. Shift your perspective because you need to be more grateful. Third eye energy here. This is about showing gratitude for the fact that no matter what happened in this situation, that you were being protected. Be grateful for that. Another third eye is recovery. Needing time to recover. Keeping yourself away from this situation because like i said your person needs to come forward with an apology the ego is in the way that's what stops them but their voice inside of them keeps telling them and i feel like the more you recover the better it will be for some reason between the two of you or just with yourself in general all right what energies do we have on the table spirit what energies can you give us for this connection please provide only what we need to see and only the truth Precise and clear messages. Well, they can't be really. I mean, I'm going to read the messages, so. I'm going to read them. All right, let's see. Bottom of the deck is door to spirit. I'm telling you, connect with your spirit guides. 
The door is open for you to communicate and get understanding, clear the junk out of your head, clear the extra talk, clear all of that out of your space, okay? What energies do we have for the collective and love today, spirit? What energies do we have? Look at that yin and yang. Wow. Clarifying the balance. Come on through with it, spirit. Balance. Yin and yang. Okay? But we're going to get the messages directly from the book on what they mean because I like those better. Door to romance is closing. Okay. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. That's your, third, that's your throat chakra. Angel of balance. Man, balance is everything, but it's in reverse. Balance is something serious today, y'all. Healer of all ages and journey in reverse. Woo, child. Let's get these messages. They real. Journey in reverse, number two. It's the second card, y'all, in the, in, in the Oracle deck. You may desire to move or just get away for a while, but the reverse of this card could indicate a delay or even a cancellation. Something could be standing in your way or perhaps lines of communication may get crossed. Don't let the potential changes upset you. Refocus your energy and, the, and be flexible enough to alter your schedule or destination as needed. Remember, you can always create new adventures, even if your present location or even in your present location or situation. So I feel like for what I'm getting here, it's time to alter this, this, this destination of this connection. Alter it. Because your person wants to move forward with you, but I kind of feel like, you know, you might not feel that way. Or whoever this person is, right? So let's get number 22. The yin and yang energy. This card represents energetic life cycles and, and, and its purpose to help you identify the particular cycle energy moving into or out of your experience. In its upright position, it heralds a yin cycle where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things. This is a time of great receptivity, intuition, and gestation. I told you, trust your intuition. Everything isn't what it seems. External circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activity. It's an especially good time for completion. So wrap things up. Yin cycles often call you to be passive, yielding, and reflective. So open up to these sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. Like I said, balance, 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 y'all. Yin and yang. Like this right here. Most action seems to be happening under the surface. You can't see what's really going on. You can't. Okay? The next one is Door to Romance, number 33. It's in reverse. This card reverse indicates a delay or disappointment where love is concerned. In a... In a present relationship, it could also be a sign of distance or separation. For some, the door to love may seem to have been shut for a long time, but the energetic universe is always in a state of flow or flux. Knowing this, you can work on making changes in your daily life that will bring more love into your experience. Remember to make yourself and your own happiness a priority. Encourage yourself and encourage yourself and always acknowledge how valuable and deserving you are receiving your own love and that of others. Such choices in your attitude and self will shift any old energy of dismissal, changing your core consciousness and all that you attract. So tell the universe you're ready for real love because you're finally willing to give it to yourself. Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel holds his his trumpet in one hand and a beautiful orb of blue light in the other. He is sending powerful energy to your throat center, acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so. This angel opens up, opens you up to truthful expression, both with yourself and others. You may have had trouble with expressing emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel's here to tell you that your soul longs to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself. So never deny your profound, in, in, your profound integral value. Speak up for yourself, write in your journal, let your words flow. Now is the time to express yourself freely and fully, and the universe always honors your choice to do so. This card could also indicate that a communication project is coming or a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others. Next, we have Angel of Balance, number 48. And it's in reverse. In this position, the Angel of Balance comes with a loving warning that something may be seriously out of, out of proportion in your life. It could be an important emotional component, such as the lack of self-acceptance or self-care. Remember, however, that when you put yourself last, the universe will do likewise. Receiving this card reverse can often can oftentimes be a warning of lost energy, calling you to relax more, sleep more, even just drink more water. Investigate how you may be out of balance in your time and energy regarding the externals and internals in your life. 
The adjacent cards in your spread could indicate the particulars. Perhaps you're being, you're, you've are you been working too much or been too obsessed with relationships or money. This loving angel can help bring you the courage and wisdom you need to break out, to break such toxic patterns. Meditate on the angel's presence and visualize her pouring a beautiful liquid light through all of your chakras. Balancing them and bringing you peace. Remember that you always have power to bring things back into peaceful balance. And last is Healer of All Ages, number 51. In reverse, when reversed, the heel of all ages indicates that you've been feeling extremely out of sorts or even upside down in your own life. You may be in the midst of some physical problem or just feeling as though you're looking, you're losing energy. But this card is telling you that there are deeper levels of healing that need to be addressed. Take some time to regroup and put your own healing first, whether you're facing mental, emotional, physical, or even addictive patterns. Call upon the healer of the ages to bring this energy to the issues you're working on. Quiet your mind and feel his vibration, bringing you warmth and healing light. Clearing away the dark or hurting space. Repeat this meditation and be patient. Yet also know the divine love can heal you in the blink of a belief. I believe that what this message is telling me today is that you seriously, whoever this message is for, don't focus on this person. Okay? They will come in if they choose to. But in reality, the pain that was caused here, you need to heal from that. Like, I feel like your person is waiting for you to heal from that. Like, wanting you to see there is no one else but you. Why don't you get that? Because you hurt me. You made me feel less of. You manipulated me. You lied to me. You tricked me. All right, y'all. That's it for today's love reading for Wednesday, Jane. I'm sorry, Wednesday, December 29th, 2021. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If this reading has resonated with you, thumbs up. If it has not, thumbs down. It's all love either way. Comment. Let me know how you feel. There's still a few options left to purchase on my website for a reading before the December 31st. But after this is December 31st, they will be gone. I'll be working on readings right after this. So those of you who have purchased readings, be on the lookout because you may be getting a read your reading email to you today. Don't forget to always donate to open. You can do so through my website www.alchemygoddess.love A-L-K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S.L-O-V-E And there is only one Alchemy Goddess on Instagram A-L-K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S There is one of me on Instagram. That is it. Alright y'all, as always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got number love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>